I'm back from my trip to the Big Apple where I met one of the stars of this film. And now we're BFFs. And nothing says friendship like hopping the guardrail and quickly getting tasered by authorities. This is Snow White and the John Huntsman. In a twist of the fairy tale, the Huntsman is ordered to find Snow White to be killed, but winds up becoming her protector and mentor in a quest to vanquish the evil queen. The movie stars my besties for esties, Chris Hemsworth, the gorgeous and talented Charlize Theron, and mirror, mirror on the wall, who is fairer than Charlize? Must be personality. L let's get a photo of Kristen smiling. There we go. This movie, oh man, it's surprisingly good. Like an asthmatic smoker, this movie is breathtaking. The visuals and costumes are unlike anything you'll see this year. I have to applaud the visual effects department for making a fantasy world come to life and making Kristen Stewart look realistic. Charlize Theron eats up her role as the queen, and Hemsworth as the huntsman does a spectacular job because him's worth it. My favorite part has to be the dwarfs, and they give a heightened performance. <laughs> They are played by famous top-notch actors and they fit right into this gritty reboot of a fairy tale. And they should also fit into my teddy bear collection. A few complaints is that this film sort of lags in the last half, though the rest of the film plays out like Lord of the Rings for girls. Stewart does give a surprisingly good performance, but her role is very underwritten and we don't see her character develop like the other main players. Also, I wish the film would have explored more of the Queen's past. That way we could see why she is the way she is. Also, there's sort of a love triangle between the Huntsman, the Prince, and Snow White, though it's hardly mentioned. Wait, isn't Kristen Stewart in another love triangle movie with magical characters? Zathura, that's it. Overall, this film is mystical, a visual epic, though you have no idea what's going on sometimes, but you know it's good. I give this film three out of four wolves from the 10th kingdom. I just dropped that reference. Stay tuned next week for another gritty fairy tale reboot, Quentin Tarantino's Beauty vs. Beast. <laughs>